Wanted to give you a real quick uh, tip on uh, making that frog a little bit more uh, successful in uh, hooking bass. And uh, also uh, modifying this rig a little bit so uh, you're not going to end up being mad at me. What I've added on to uh, frogs when I fish them, it's made by a lake fork. It's uh, simply called what it is, a frog tail hook. And it is uh, patent pending, so I, and surprisingly, it's one of those weird, unusual things actually made in the USA. Uh, I think I told you about Lake Fork in one of my other videos. Uh, they actually make their stuff here. But uh, patent pending, so you're not going to be able to find these on the cheap. Uh, you're going to have to actually get that for now. And what you get in there is this hook right here and you simply slide that over here i've already got one in place and it goes on the back end now what i've done here with this guy is i put some uh, shrink, shrink wrap tubing there we go said it correctly that time i put that on both sides after i put this hook on and the reason i did this is because I've had these hooks actually come off before uh, with a uh, fish. So to say I was frustrated, mad, upset, yeah, I was. So put that on there just like I showed you and it'll help you out. Uh, some people, uh, and I was a little bit uh, concerned too, you know, how bad does this snag up and mess up? Guys, if you put it on like I've got with the uh, hookup, I've had uh, great success and uh, luck with this thing, uh, throwing it over lily pads and bringing it back. It almost never gets snagged up. I was a little concerned when I started playing with it. It works. Open water course, not going to be a problem, but lily pads... Uh, pulling over stumps and logs and stobs and stuff. Of course, if it's coming up and over, which they're weighted, they're going to do that. It's not, if it was this way, yeah, it would be a problem. But it's really doesn't make your snags that much more. The only uh, negative I can say about it is that uh, when you have, uh, if you had true legs on the frog, which I know some frogs have, it, this would not be an issue. But with these, you're going to get these uh, things, these little fringes, in here some. But that's the only detractor I can really tell you about this. Now, if you've stayed on this long, I've got one added bonus, quick tackle uh, tip for you. Appreciate you watching. Your hooks, if uh, you don't know this trick already, you probably got a tangled mess of hooks. Maybe different sizes mixed together frustrating, annoying, it takes a while to pull them apart. You just use a safety pin, guys, and you can put all of the hooks together. If you got separate little bins in your tackle tray, you can have all your hooks together. They're not tangled up, they're not in a mess, and you can just take off one at a time when you need them. Uh, makes life a whole lot easier, especially when your bite's on and you need to rig back up. So, frogger tip, making that frog more uh, productive. Again, that's Lake Fork Tackle frog tail hook and your cheap old safety pin. Uh, we men have a good purpose for them now. I hope this uh, helped you out. Thumbs up if you liked it, please. And uh, please consider subscribing. And have a blessed day.